What is going on everyone? Welcome back to the Apache Halloween YouTube channel and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at the 2014 Spirit Halloween Jumping Cat animatronic. This isn't the first one I found. I actually found another one that was on Macari and basically what happened was it was described as broken where like uh, it wouldn't retract down. Very typical for a jumping animatronic made by Techie. The main gear is broken and it was when I got it but when I tested out the animatronic, it had a bunch of bugging errors with it, like weird things that I've never seen before. The funniest part is that it had the jumping dog's uh, circuit board in it, basically. So it would be the cat, it's the cat, but it's got the dog circuit board, so it barks like the dog, which is really funny. And I opened up the circuit board thinking maybe they're interchangeable, maybe this is like a bone collector, zombie barrel sort of a thing where it's the same circuit board. It's not, it's completely different. So it's like a factory air where it's the jumping cat that has jumping dogs uh, internals in it, which is pretty funny. So kind of bummed out, I tried to fix it, but I have, as of this video, not been able to figure it out. And one of the reasons is because I just don't know if maybe it's wired up wrong since it's a factory air and it never worked properly. So if anyone has any ideas or even like pictures of the jumping dogs circuit board because that's what I'm looking for right now. I'm looking for a jumping dog to compare to. If anyone has any pictures or anything like that, please let me know. I'd really appreciate it. After that, I was able to find an actual another jumping cat. And this one again, described as having the broken gear issue. And I was like, well, what would the chances be if I get another barking cat? But thankfully, it was just the gear, and I had a replacement gear on standby, put it together, fixed it up, and now I have a fully working jumping cat. So, the second cat didn't come with the box, but the first cat did. It's kind of like a Frankenstein together, a fully uh, working and complete jumping cat that I got here. But I'm pretty happy with it. I've been looking for one of these since last year. I really wanted to find one last year for my grinning Gertrude area in the swamp. I wanted the cat to be like right at the base of her. So now I'm able to do that and that'll be pretty cool. But enough rambling, let's actually look at the jumping cat here. So this is the box. It's bigger than a jumping spider's box. It's like taller and it might be a little longer. I'm not sure. But 2014, the last year of the slime font, this demonic feline pounces on careless mortals. The original retail price was $99.99 back in 2014. Here's the side of the box. You just got a close up of the cat. The back side uh, looks pretty much the same. Yeah, it looks pretty much the same here. Sets up in minutes. Okay, so this should be a short video. And then here's the top. It just says jumping cat. So let's open it up. Since it's so small, I'm just gonna unbox it on the table here. This is what you see when you open it up. We have the instructions, which I'm very happy to still have, even though it's very simple to set up here. But here you go, the jumping cat's instructions. Pretty simple and straightforward. It says techie on it, and then nothing on the back. So still cool to have those. Have an adapter for it. Not sure if this is the right one considering it's an older one. It's got props that were made uh, before the time of the jumping cat, but it's still cool to have this. And it still works to my knowledge. Last time I checked it, this isn't an authentic unboxing because I wanted to make sure it worked. Here we have all the feet and these are black plastic compared to the modern jumping spiders that are white plastic and most of them have the Velcro still on them. This one even has the foot key, which is nice. I can't believe that's still on there. And there's that one. So this one's missing the Velcro, but it's not a big deal to me. And then lastly, we have the main jumping cat. Here it is. The arms are kind of poseable to an extent. You can bend them up and stuff, but it's all plastic. This is all plastic. I thought it was like a vinyl or latex material. The paws are plastic. Paint job's pretty okay. The whiskers are all kind of just bundled all over the place. You can try to straighten them out, but it takes a little time to mess with those. The eyes light up green. It looks like a real cat. I got two black cats and I can confirm that this is what they look like when I wake up in the morning and they're staring at me. Got a green collar. Too bad it doesn't have like a little actual like name tag. That'd be cool. 
and you could like customly edit whatever the name is. That'd be cool. But again, it's just a cat slapped on a jumping spider mechanism here. Nothing crazy. So it's basically interchangeable parts wise, nothing out of the ordinary. The only thing is the circuit board. You have an adapter, you got foot pad control right down here. Let me get this cleaned out for you just to see. 12 volt, uh, 6 volt, 2 amp. You got your foot pad. You got on, foot pad, and off. It does take batteries and it still has this little safety tag that says uh, attach two springs shown before operation or before operating, then remove this tag. No one removed it, so I'm happy with that. I'm more than happy to have that still on there. But overall, pretty generic. So while it's sitting here, I guess I can just probably set it up while just holding it like this. All right, let's speed run the setup. So the first thing we're gonna wanna do is put the springs, uh, lock them in here, and that's what gives it its pop-up motion, basically. When you go to put them away, you gotta be sure to take these off because this is basically what causes the main gear to snap off is that people have it retracted, don't realize that the springs are still on it, put it away for the year, and all year long it's sitting in a compressed position where there's a lot of stress on these gears. And keep in mind, the gears are just plastic. So they're not as strong as metal gears on this particular piece. So just remember, take the springs off. We're gonna look at the bottom here and match all the feet to the corresponding labeling. We got C, the side legs are C, basically. And they usually click. Now with a prop of this age, usually some of the little teeth that snap in have broken off at this point. But it sounds like these are all still pretty good. And we'll just put the B one on and that's done. So now we can just put them on the ground. So there he is on the ground now we can plug in his adapter here and just plug it in but do not plug it into an outlet until he's fully set up now all we're going to do is just drape the fabric material we're going to find the velcro pieces and just connect them to all the feet so very similar to the jumping spider in fact all of the jumping pieces from this era we're basically just a jumping spider with a different animal slapped on top of it. They really went crazy, and I think they did well. And I'm not going to say that they should do more of them, but it would be cool that if they brought some of these back, because I really, they really basically did them all. I can't really think of anything that would be different. But I'd love to see the jumping cat back. The jumping critter is pretty cool, too. But there it is, and as you can see, it's really just the front half of the cat there's no tail no rear legs or anything like that so it's kind of just the front half which is kind of uh strange but in the dark you're not really going to notice all right it's all plugged in i got one of my try me remote module things hooked up to him so i don't have to try to wave my hand in front of the sensor but let's plug him in hopefully he retracts it's working now it's going down there we go So it's all good. The relay went off. Nothing bad. So it should be ready to be uh, activated. But without further ado, let's test this jumping cat. All right, I think it's on A. There we go. kind of is like leaning to the, I guess it's right, but that's probably how they all are like. It's just a mounting issue. But there it is. Jumping cat, fully working. Looking forward to putting it in the haunt this year and having a jump scare in the swamp area, which really wasn't kind of a thing last year, at least for the early part. And I think it'll be a cool scene with the cat, Gertrude, and then the cauldron is all in that little island area. So I'm looking forward to that. Looking forward so much that I went and made a smaller box that is going to be designed to take a signal from this main box on the remote, receive that 
signal and then do its own thing. So this is made customly for the jumping cat, the cauldronous, and grinning Gertrude. So they're all like trigger as people are walking by. So that's the plan. This is a new box. It's very small. It's smaller than that one. And it's going to be awesome. I've made a bunch of these for other areas in the haunt as well. So I'm looking forward to using all of it together. Maybe I'll make a video on it eventually. But there is the jumping cat. So let's just get one last demo shot of the jumping cat. And I'm going to leave you there. So I want to say thank you all so much for watching. And I will see you all in the next video.